So we now know the 32 clubs that make up this year's Europa Conference League. And we now know, of course, the groups. Which two clubs from each group will go through to the knockout stages and which two clubs will tumble out. We're going to take a little look. <laughs> Today we're going to take a look at early look at of course the Europa Conference League and see which two clubs from this group go through to the knockout stages. We're going to take a little look at that in a second. Of course, if you're new, where you've been, smash your subscribe and bang to see all things Rovers related, Conference League related, World Football related. We got it all here, boys. Under one Ruski. Do you agree or disagree with my picks for, of course, this group to see who goes through to the knockout stages? Let me know your thoughts down below. And of course, big big shout out once again to the VIPs. They are the patrons, of course. But anyway, let's get into it. Alrighty then, folks, let's take a little look at Group A then, of course, over in this year's Conference League as we gear up for, of course, uh, the opening games, which, of course, are not too far away. But these are the clubs that make up Group A over in the Conference League. We have Lille, of course, from Lyon. We have, of course, Slava and Bratislava. We've also got Klasvic there, I think, coming at you from Iceland. And we've also got Olympica Lujnana, of course, come at you, I think they're from Slovenia. Uh, of course, correct me if I'm wrong. Of course, those are the clubs from Group A. These are the games. And here I come to take a look at these games and more right here at Blab and Make sure you smash your subscribe, smash your thumbs up. Of course, uh, these games stretch from the 21st of September all the way through to the December Christmas countdown, 40th of December, as, of course, we'll wrap up match day number six. Of course, let me know your thoughts, who goes through, who goes home. But let's take a long, hard look at it. Of course, when you look at this, you do think instantly Lille should blow these uh, all these teams away and i think mostly my prediction is going to lean towards that sort of edge but of course who's going to be in the mix for those knockout stages or playoffs as well we'll take a look at it right here right now so let's go then lille open up with a 2-0 win over olympic lejana of course over in la france of course lille haven't been at the races over in league on for the past i don't know 18 months or so so hopefully uh for us and for for their sakes they'll be on the a game because uh, they are in group a meanwhile Slovan Bratislava will also open up with a 1-0 win over the icelandic boys here uh, why have I got yeah 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 Icelandic is it Icelandic it was actually Pharaohs it could actually be the Pharaoh why correct me if I'm wrong I look like, like an absolute fool it's not an Iceland it's a Pharaoh Islands team Ooh, wow wow we were I think they're the first I might have given these guys a bit more clout than I than I respect meanwhile the Pharaoh Island team will take on Lille but Lille will win uh, in the second match day 2-1 win to make it back-to-back -back wins for Lille and look at a okay comfortably done already meanwhile Lujlana uh, will take on Slovan Bratislava over in Slovenia and it'll be a 2-1 win to get their first win on the docket of course alongside Slovan Bratislava as of course looking good at the minute for at least a, 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 an outside sniff for at least the knockout stages class which will then host a Olympic Lejana. I've gone with a 1-0 win. I don't know. Maybe it's just a difficult place to go or what have you. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. Uh, I think they could still win. Uh, they are here, of course. They've got three on merit. So let's give them the benefit of the doubt. So 1-0 win, a surprise. There's maybe a surprise one here. We'll see about that. I mean, Lille will take on Bratislava and they will win comfortably. 3-0 win in the end. Now, that's, of course, the halfway stage. And again, you're looking at Lille looking A-OK. -okay. Uh, three wins from three. And just one goal conceded over the last three games. And, of course, it is a coin flip between the rest of them to see who will go through. Uh, I might have actually gone with this Pharaoh team here. Olympic Lejana will then take on Klasvich, and it will be Olympic Lejana with a, another win to two wins, so they're out of four, so not too shabby there. Slavon Braslav will take on Lille, and they will lose, though. Lille looking good and comfortable for the uh, for the knockout stages already. So four wins on the bounce, just one goal conceded. Looking absolutely fantastic right here, right now. Meanwhile, Klasvich, Slavon Braslav, they will win. I don't know. I really don't know. Don't I take it with a pinch of salt. Uh, I've, I've, got, I've been fooled. I mean, I, if it was an Icelandic team, I think they might have a bit more oomph about them. I just, I think the Faroe Islands might be, might not be as strong as I'm making out here. A little bit legend. I will take on Lille. It'll be a 2-1 win for Lille. Five wins on the bounce. Looking A-OK. -okay. Absolutely fantastic. And they, will, of course, will take on Clashfish and they will win Anyway, so Klasvich having an okay home run here, a couple of wins there. I don't think it's going to be enough for them to go through to the knockout stages, but Bratislava, Lujana, I think duking it out for that second spot here, and it will be a 2-1 win for Bratislava, which will mean we're going to get the calculators out and see who goes through. I don't have many odds on this one. Uh, we do have a Klasvich, a 250 to 1 to lift the trophy. Uh, Lille, on the other hand, a fourth favorite, fifth favorite, 12 to 1 uh, with, uh, you know, to, to lift it to the, the distance. So Bratislava, uh, I have a quick scan here. Uh, they're probably in here somewhere. They're 66 to 1. And we've got uh, Lujlana 
uh, also 201. So they are long, long shots to win the trophy. But uh, for me, uh, in this one, we do have class, which they are bottom, thankfully. Uh, of course, unfortunately, six points, though, not too shabby. Same as Slovan Bratislava, but it looks like Luzlana will squeak through on goal difference, also on six points. It's a very, very tight affair. But of course, perfect is as perfect does. It is Lille who run away with it with 18 points. Looking absolutely fantastic. And we'll go through as group winners and we'll see if Luzlana can sidestep uh, into the uh, knockout stages via the playoffs. There you have it, folks. There you bloody have it. Of course, that's my short, short take of this group over in the Europa Conference League. If you agree or disagree, let me know down below, of course. But make sure you do smash your thumbs up, smash your subscribe. Your one-stop shop right here for the Conference League. This coming campaign is right here at Blackburn Rovers season. We're going to come back, of course, for each and every one of the match days with our own interactive prediction league. And I hope to see you there too. And of course, until that point, be sure to come back and check back all these group stages videos. And again, subscribe, thumbs up if you haven't done so already. But until then, I'll see you soon for the next one.